<laughs> hey guys, how you doing? I bet you don't even know what this is. This is called rice paper. You can make wraps with them. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. But we're gonna make them vegan. So vegan people, vegetarian people, lactose intolerance, welcome. We got a new episode for you guys. You wanna know how I did it? I'm Cosito, let's go. Now, let's quickly go over the ingredients you need. The first one is white wine vinegar, followed by olive oil based with basil, which you can also use normal oil. A bit of that spice, cayenne pepper. For that bitterness, ginger. Also one avocado or avocado. One bell pepper, red or yellow. One carrot, a piece of cucumber, the size of pickle rick. The juice of one lime. A bit of agave syrup. A bit of balsamic vinegar and the main event main ingredient rice paper next you will not need tofu i will show you how to cook it but i myself do not like tofu so we're not gonna use it in this dish about 120 milliliters of orange juice in this bowl we have four cloves of garlic couple of leaves of basil couple of leaves of mint and radishes you will also need about 60 grams of peanut butter you also need some leaves of cabbage or Cabbage. And that long list concludes the ingredients you need. So let's start cooking. Now the first thing you're gonna do is press that subscribe button. Thank you for pressing that subscribe button. Now we can move on. We're gonna start by letting that oven preheat at 200 degrees. Now we're gonna focus on the sauce for the tofu. This is for the people that do like tofu and want to incorporate tofu in this dish. Start by grabbing a blender and we're gonna put in four tablespoons of balsamic vinegar followed by three tablespoons of your oil at this point you can add two cloves of garlic if you have a garlic mincer mince them that's optional but highly recommend it next you're gonna throw in four slices of ginger the size of a quarter give or take the last step for this sauce is to blend it all up into a sauce Next, we're moving on to cutting the tofu. Again, I'm telling you, we're not gonna use tofu in this dish, but if you like tofu, this is a way that you can incorporate it in this dish. You're gonna cut them in small pieces and put them on the tray just to go in the oven. But before they go in the oven, you're gonna sprinkle the sauce that you made in the blender. After you sprinkle the sauce, it'll come out looking like this. Following that, we're gonna place it in the oven for about 35 minutes. Now, let's turn our focus to the second sauce we need the dipping sauce. So we're gonna start with 60 grams of peanut butter with six slices of ginger right in it. This helps the blender to process also the slices of ginger. Next we're gonna use the juice of one lime. Next we're gonna pour in the 120 milliliters of orange juice. We're gonna use the last two cloves of garlic then. Before we add the garlic we're gonna mince them first such that we can help the blender process it faster. Following that, for that pepper, for that spice, we're gonna use one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. We'll also be adding four tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Following that, you're also gonna add four tablespoons of your olive oil and also one tablespoon of your white wine vinegar. And for that sweetness, we're gonna add four tablespoons of agave syrup. Then lastly, for the sauce, we'll be adding one teaspoon of salt. Moving on, we'll get to the last step and that is Blend it all up into a sauce. After you're done blending, grab a spoon and taste. And you'll probably be sounding just like this. Now between me and you, the sauce was much too spicy for me, but it tasted amazing. Go test it out. Let's move on to the cutting part. You're gonna cut your carrots, your cucumber, and your paprika into thin, long pieces. Also slice your avocado into thin, long pieces. And for the radishes, you're gonna slice them in quarter size pieces. For the carrots, we're gonna place them in boiling water just to get them a little bit soft. When you're done having all your mise en place ready to go, you're gonna fill a bowl with lukewarm water. Make sure you have a large enough bowl such that the rice paper can fit right in. 
So you're gonna dump the rice paper in the lukewarm water bowl and it will start to soften up. Leave it for a couple of seconds in the warm water such that it can soften up more. Don't leave it for too long because it can become too soft. Then you're gonna pull it out the water and then you're gonna place it on a wet surface because it can't stick. I'm using paper towels that can absorb water. It's time to assemble the wrap. We're gonna start by putting one cabbage leaf followed by one cucumber and then you can mix it all up with the vegetables you have. You can also use tofu at this moment. On top of the mixed vegetables you place, you're also gonna put basil leaf and mint leaves. Lastly, let's get to the wrapping technique. You're gonna grab the back end and fold it over your vegetables. Then grab each side and fold it also over your vegetables. Lastly, Grip the cylinder quite firm and then roll it all over to the end, just like in the video. And just like that, you'll have your first wrap. I'm gonna spare you guys the details, but I'm gonna wrap all the remaining wraps and then we'll be back at the end. Stay tuned. If you've done it correctly and also pour in the sauce, it'll come out looking like this. <laughs> Ain't it gorgeous? Note, I have also sliced the wraps in two such that they can be more manageable. Finally, let's taste. Yay! This wrap in combination with that sauce. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, go check this out because it may look like just a wrap full of vegetables, but it tastes incredible. <laughs> Yum. Now tell me. Now you know how to use rice paper too, right? Aren't you learning a lot from Cosito's Kitchen? Comment below and let me know what's the favorite thing you've learned till now. Like this video if you have enjoyed and don't forget to check out the channel for more cool videos. And also, subscribe! This has been Cosito's Kitchen and showing you the difference between a chef and a cook. Take care guys, peace!